In a momentary calm, blades are sworn together, vowing to bring about the restoration of peace and order. The year is 190, and the Han Empire falters on the brink of destruction. Brought low by corrupt eunuchs, and strong-armed by the despot Dong Zhuo. The fires of war erupt across a once peaceful realm. In the growing chaos, rebellions rise and the Emperor's voice is drowned out by the tyrant's roar. The land suffers. Yet though they band together against a common foe, such a fragile alliance cannot hold forever. Hold firm, do not swerve, and keep to the path. In the cacophony of rising chaos, Gonswen's son is heard like a clarion call above the fray. Honor your allegiances, or you fight for naught. Sun Tian has never shied away from opportunity. And despite his loyalties, the fall of the Imperial Court presents great opportunities. Humility keeps one honest. Liu Bei sees chaos in the face of Dong Zhuo and will not rest until the tyrant's corruption is uprooted and the Han Dynasty restored. It is my destiny to rule. Tao Tao watches dynasties fall and tyrants rise. He has seen power slip into the hands of the undeserving. And through the chaos, plots a path back to order by his hand. One who bends does not break. Yuran Shao is the Han's loyal defender and will follow the dynasty to whatever end. For reunification. Yuran Shu watches the ascent of Dong Zhuo and believes he has the means and the right to wield such power instead. Remain resolute in all things, or risk... A 
embers rise, stark against the night. The tyrant Dong Zhuo wields the flames of destruction. Luo Yang burns, chaos ignites, as the power of the eunuchs is crushed. In the pyre, the hand falters. Yet there are those who would still fight, still roar. Gon Xuan Zan holds against the tyrant, his own fire unrelenting. With a thundering of hooves, he rides to war. China is in turmoil. The great empire of the Han, stretching back ages beyond counting, is being devoured by corruption. The yellow turbans, thousands strong, began raising their banners in rebellion and seizing commanderies across the realm. In response, generals loyal to the emperor rose up and put down the rebellion. Victory, the chaos only grew. With the corruption at the very heart of the empire, the loyal generals stormed the imperial palace and killed the ten eunuchs, the source of China's ills. In the madness, the warlord Dong Zhuo seized the emperor. With the great warrior Lu Bu at his side, none dared oppose him. Warlords rose up, led by the charismatic Yuran Shao, to save the Han. Faced with united opposition, Dong Zhuo retreated west to his stronghold of Chang'an, raising the old capital Luo Yang to the ground as he fled. It is now the year 190 CE, and the coalition has all but collapsed. Warlords on all sides have seen opportunities to build their own fortunes from the chaos. Yellow turban remnants still stalk the lands, seeking the age of the yellow sky, whilst soldiers of fortune feel the change of fate on the wind and strike out on their own. The scales shift and China hangs in the balance. Luo Yang lies in ruin, my lord. It is the work of the tyrant. Dong Zhuo knows no mercy. He is cruel and barbaric. He flees west with the young emperor. Control of the Han goes with him. He must be hunted down. His devastation of China must be stopped. However, there are other, closer issues to deal with. Liu Yu still poses a threat. If he cannot summon the strength to govern his own lands, then I will seize them and do it myself. The coalition is dying. It lacks unity and leadership. Something must be done. Long have I defended China from enemies without. Now I must turn my sights to the enemies within. Your cavalry bray, Lord Gon Xuanzan. It is time to direct their furious charge. Your cavalry bray, Lord. In unrest, boldness is needed.
There is barely anybody here. An iron fist is needed to rule. Press onward! Madness consumes China. This fire must be stopped, lest we all burn. The people suffer as cities burn. It cannot continue. For years, I have defended China from numerous threats. It seems now I must take up arms to defend her again. Once more, for China! Ready! Ready! To attention! Cavalry attend!
comrade is being attacked! Improved in my estimations. Cavalry. Make ready. Attack. To attention, G soldiers. Missile! Yeah. Cavalry, to attention! The men are out of ammunition. 